Alright guys, welcome back to another food review. This time we've got Kingston Press Cider. Yeah, I'm not going to sit here and talk shit today. Not feeling too special. But we're okay. Having a chill, nice little drink. Take off the edge. So as you can see, I'm getting a bit more fuck now, I'm on my second bottle. And I don't care. I don't give a fuck. Don't care. But it's nothing to worry about, you know? Because I'm fine. Because if I needed help, if I need any support, I'd ask for it. Trust me. And I know who would fucking provide that support. Without question. So... So I've only bought two bottles, um, this is what's left of the two bottles, Kingston Press, uh, it's my go-to alcohol for cheap, uh, this bottle cost me £1.50 in cost cutters, two of these, three quid, not much of a drinker anyway so I get fucked up after a couple of bottles so, you know I've always been a stoner. Probably always will be. But alcohol, devil's drink. Sounds suiting and fitting for Devil Rick, but nah. It turns you into a wanker. It makes you do things and say things that you don't really fucking want to say, but you're mean. So, I don't know. Do I say how I fucking feel? Do I tell you how I feel? Or do I just let it go and let it slip and just fucking suffer? I don't know. It's up to you to make your own fucking minds up. If you want to go down the rabbit hole and find out your whole world, everything you've known or loved or believed in all your life is controlled and manipulated by satanic pedophiles at the very top levels of society. Don't believe me? Don't believe in it? I don't give a fuck. You stay asleep. But that's where I've been lately. And that's why I haven't been posting. Been doing my research, getting my fucking knowledge on what's going on up here. Stay awake and watch whilst everybody else thinks I'm fucking crazy. But that's up to them. It's been going on forever. The time is changing. 2020, the great fucking awakening. It's coming. And for that matter, research Pizzagate, Pedowood. Pervy wood. They're all at it. Everyone you've grown to know and love all your life. Pretty much most of them are fucking paedophiles. So, sorry to burst your bubble if you didn't know that already. If you don't like what I'm saying, you're more than welcome to fuck off. That's all good, but at the end of the day, let's go back to basics. 10 out of 10. Gets the job done. Nice and cheap. And what's the whistle?